All right, guys, this is not my usual type of video, but I decided to go ahead and drop a little tutorial for you guys out there in the PC world that is into content creation and uses Shadow Play in particular to record videos. So if you're like me, you probably use Shadow Play on an older build and it ran fine, or you built a new PC and then suddenly Shadow Play just doesn't work properly. I have no idea what NVIDIA has going on with Shadow Play, but man, it is very inconsistent. Um, I know I'm not the only one that has had this issue, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys what I mean. But before I do that, let me show you guys some of the things I did do that could potentially work for you that didn't work for me until I did what I'm going to show you a little later in this video. I promise you this isn't going to be a long video, but I do want to show you this method here where you go into your task manager and then you scroll um, or you go into details the details tab up here and then you scroll down to where you see nvidia container um, supposedly if you set these to high which i did try that and that didn't work um, you can set those to high all the nvidia containers maybe that'll help you out it didn't help me um, another thing you could do is if you were to go into the nvidia control panel um, under your manage 3d settings if you go down to vertical sync um, if you turn this on in the manage 3d settings but in the game that you're playing you want to make sure that's off especially if you're using g-sync um, if you turn that on supposedly that's supposed to help supposedly turning triple but um, triple buffering on helps um, I honestly have no idea if triple buffering fixed this issue but let me show you guys exactly what fixed it so if you go into the GeForce Experience Shadow Play Settings tab, um, for my computer, I press Alt-Z to get to it. It might be different for your computer, but you want to go into the settings. And if you go into your recordings tab, this is it right here. This is the fix. You want to go into where it says temporary files. You just want to make sure temporary files is on a completely different drive than where you're recording your videos. So for me, I put my temporary files on the drive I'm not currently using, which is my D drive. So all the temporary files that Shadowplay needs for whatever reason can go there. And for my videos, I'm recording those to my external hard drive. So I kept that the same. But just this one fix saved my Shadowplay experience. And I really hope this helps you guys out because I know there's a lot of people out there who are into creating content. And Shadowplay is one of the easiest ways. I've tried OBS, but I didn't really like using OBS um, shadow play is just so much easier to use but yeah all you got to do is do this make sure your temporary file folder is on a different drive than wherever you're storing your videos and that should definitely fix your shadow play experience if you found this video helpful go ahead and drop a like on the video to really help my channel grow and as always subscribe everybody subscribe turn on the notification bell so you can keep it locked and get notified when i drop as always y'all keep it wavy Hit it one. Ah.